Muy buenas y bienvenidos, soy Nox y esto es Batman, de Telltale Series. <coughs> si algunos conocéis esta compañía, Telltale, lo que suelen hacer es sacar videojuegos que son como historias, in historias animadas interactivas. Se hicieron populares con el de The Walking Dead, juego al que por cierto jugué y me gustó bastante porque soy muy fan de The Walking Dead. Y hace nada que han estrenado el primer episodio de esta serie nueva que van a hacer de Batman. A mí Batman me chifla, es mi superhéroe favorito y tenía ganas de jugarlo porque todos los videojuegos, historias y películas de Batman me encantan. Porque como ya digo, es, es mi superhéroe favorito, ¿vale? De, y me encantan los superhéroes, pero este en concreto es mi favorito por encima del resto. Así que bueno, pues tenía ganas de que saliese esto y vamos a probar a ver qué tal es la historia. Y si la historia es buena, pues <coughs> vamos a jugarlo, a ver. Debo decir que el listón de las historias de Batman está muy alto. Porque los videojuegos tienen unas historias, los, los que han sacado hasta ahora, de, de, de los de Warner, de, de Arkham, tienen unas historias muy buenas. Las películas también tienen unas historias muy buenas, de las de Nolan. Así que vamos a ver qué tal esto. Espero que, que esté bien. Vamos al lío. Voy a intentar no hablar mucho para no interrumpir demasiado la historia, porque este juego es puramente historia. Y si hablo, pues la puedo joder. Hey, Gordon. Christ. Move in. I heard stories, you know. Sent three home in an ambulance. The rest in body bags. No wonder the cops want him dead. Hey, you ever seen him? Yeah, Gotham Zoo. For all the other flying animals. <laughs> pues ahora lo vas a ver de cerca, chaval. Es muy sencillo lo que hay que hacer, nada, pulsar un par de botones, tomar decisiones en los diálogos y poco más. Es, es una historia interactiva, como una película. Keep doing this. I have to. <laughs> no one else will. Every drop of blood, everything you've sacrificed. The city is safer now. It's made you a target. And people will keep you in the crosshairs until you're shot out of the sky. Criminals in this city. <laughs> They need something to fear. <gasps> Shit! No, no, si salir no va a salir, no te preocupes. Y vosotros tampoco. Por lo menos por donde queráis salir.
back. Circle up! I know you're trying to create a myth, but be careful you don't turn into a monster. Sometimes you need a monster. Come on! Come on! Come on! Hostia, he tocado algo más, me parece. Hay que darse prisa, eh, si no que hay, que, hay que ser muy rápido Ay, qué hostia la da Mmm, Catwoman, Selina Kyle. Behind you, big boy. Ah, esto no la pilla, chaval. Intimidating, you're succeeding. Criminals are becoming afraid of you, so are the police. It's a scare tactic, Al. Just a performance. <sighs> Without a scratch. So far. That doesn't belong to you. I was wondering if we'd cross paths. You broke the law. Here I am. <laughs> Cut the shit. The law. Don't tell me that's why you do all this. Squeeze into a suit, tie on a cape. Most people dressed up like that end up in Arkham. No one else will. I'm the only one who gets the job done. Sounds lonely. Gotta admit it, though. You give a good chase. One day you might actually catch me. Tonight. Don't you know not to corner a wild animal? It's dangerous. Then let's put you in a cage. Bring it, Bat. Fadiaca, <laughs> woman. Uy. Madre. Es, es... Coño. Hay que darle muy rápido. Hay que estar atento, eh. Nos no, parece, parece sencillo, pero... Están jodiendo, Batman. A la que hostia.
It's over. I wouldn't be so sure. <laughs> oh, there. Está quitando, <laughs> le está quitando lo que ha robado. Why go to all that trouble for this? Shit. A myth can't be killed. You, however, <coughs> are flesh and blood. Ahí va. God damn it! I said don't shoot. <laughs> no, wait. <laughs> Falta poco. <coughs> Guess I was wrong about you catching me. Not sure if it was for my sake or yours. Give up. There's no way out. <laughs> Give me some credit. Bye, bat. Qué jera esa joder. La ha quitado el gancho. Step out of the shadows and be Bruce Wayne tonight. Oh, that's a much harder fight. Don't let tombstones be your family legacy. Well then. Time to save the city. Bueno, bueno, interesante. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you everyone. A humble district attorney like myself is not used to such a ringing endorsement. And even one who cut Gotham's crime. Harvey Dent. For too long, this city has burned with corruption and greed under Mayor Hill's authority. But I promise you, a vote for Harvey Dent is a vote to finally put your foot down. And together, we can stamp out the fire and save our great city. If only Mr. Wayne, my campaign's largest backer, could have heard that applause, he would sh Well, there he is. Fashionable and fashionably late, as always. Say hi, Bruce. Welcome to Wayne Manor, everyone. My apologies for the late arrival. Oh, not to worry, Mr. Wayne. We've all made ourselves very comfortable. Thank you. Thank you again, everyone, for your unwavering support. Together, we will change Gotham. Mr. Wayne, thank you for opening your house to us. Now, I know this is the biggest mansion in Gotham, but I don't think you got lost on your way here. <laughs> Where were you? I know you prefer the brooding billionaire angle, 
So the sooner we make nice with the donors, the sooner everyone will leave you alone. Just wanted to make an entrance. Congratulations, you almost missed it. You are a pillar of this city and my campaign. I need you here, tuxedoed and shaking hands. No one came here tonight to see me. They want to see the Bruce Wayne, am I right? <laughs> and I can see him just fine from here. This shouldn't be painful. It's not a kidney stone. It's only a little face time with potential donors. Your face, specifically, with a mouth that's saying, Support Harvey Dent. We're the grease, they're the wheels. And they're rolling in enough cash and votes to help make Gotham a place for families again. So just put on your billionaire smile and don't punch anyone. Ah, a little liquid courage before facing your adoring public. This will help you too, Bruce. Once I've turned this city around as mayor, you'll be a hero for funding my campaign. Now all I need is a decent slogan. I'm terrible at those. It always makes me sound like a used car salesman. <laughs> Una cara nueva. All right, all right, all right. How about uh, a new face for Gotham? Hmm? Look at you. It's not half bad. I'm gonna use that. Bruce, I meant what I said. Together, you and me, we change Gotham. A city free from crime, where children can play in the streets again. That's what I want too, Harvey, but you know how rough it is out there. We have to shake things up to make that happen. Well, we can start with a few hands. Hmm? Come on. Para que no lo sepa, Harvey Dent más tarde se convierte en dos caras. El mafioso asesino. Pues tiene una serie de problemas y bueno, pues eso. Mr. Wayne, I'd like to introduce you to Bob and Regina Zellerbach. Of course I know these two. Hello, Bruce. Regina here is the chairwoman of Wayne Enterprises, and her husband voted for Mayor Hill last time. I'll admit it, Mr. Wayne. I don't know Mr. Dent from a pothole on Main Street, but I trust your family. Joder. You believe in Dent? We believe in you. After all, whoever you support is a reflection on you. And we trust someone like you to lead this city to greatness. Well, thank you. But we're all here tonight because we want to make a difference. And that's what it's going to take. Every single one of us. Not just me, not just Mr. Dent. Everyone. Right, right. Of course. Old families like ours should flock together, you know. Like birds. You're preaching, dear. No, it's true. The Waynes and Zellerbachs are reminders of the golden age of Gotham. Uh, this city's luster faded years ago, Mr. Dent. Look at Gotham now. Murder in the streets, corruption in City Hall, that Cape Bat freak dealing out vigilante justice like it's the wild goddamn West. Oh, Bobby, regarding Golden Age, seems you're getting cranky in yours. <laughs> There's always hope. Forgive me for being blunt, but one man can't save this city. And it's a dangerous mentality to think so. That's how you get creeps like this Batman. Man, I'm sad. I'm not some poco el pisto. Put him in a room with anyone for 15 minutes and that grin will win him over. He's going to need more than that, son. Oh, it hasn't been 15 minutes yet, Bob. We've still got time. And don't worry though. I am not doing this alone. And with Bruce's help, we're replacing the dangerously unsecure Arkham Asylum with a state-of-the-art mental health facility to help Gotham's most at-risk individuals. It will be dedicated to Thomas and Martha Wayne, in the hopes that their fate will never be repeated. After all your parents did for this city, oh, to be killed in a botched robbery in some alleyway, it was terrible. Truly terrible. Yeah, and tragedy like that at such a young age it must have been crippling. If only that deranged man had gotten the right treatment maybe uh, well, I don't like to think about maybe and I'm sure you don't either well Harvey is the one who's been behind the project since day one a vote for him is a vote for the memory of my parents you'll have it thank you thank you both <laughs> not saying I doubted you but that went better than expected It is a night of ringing endorsements. Oh, well, hello. 
Harvey Dent, Gotham's next mayor. Okay, Selina Guy. I know you. Vicky Vale. Not I know Vicky Vale. And reporter for the Gotham Gazette. This is a private fundraiser, Miss Vale. No reporters allowed. Well, you don't mind if I stay and ask a few questions, do you, Mr. Wayne? Well, you can ask me whatever you want at the press conference tomorrow. Actually, I'm here for the Well, no, you're not going to be strictly off the record. We can talk, but nothing gets written down. I'm okay with that. I was just hoping to see what makes Bruce Wayne tick. This is quite the social event, Mr. Wayne. Oh, come on now, so formal. Call me Bruce. Well, <laughs> Bruce, you've been going around pleasing everyone tonight. But how are you doing? You should enjoy your own party before all the champagne runs out. Uh, but everyone loves the host. You're king for a day. Just a day? Well, <laughs> I would have guessed Bruce Wayne has that feeling year round. Yeah, well, I take nights and weekends off. Mr. Wayne, you've you've got something on your collar. Um, <laughs> is that blood? Oh. Yeah. It looks like. Oh, this? No, that's nothing. It just uh, cut myself shaving. What? Your butler didn't help you this time? Hey, kidding, kidding. Do excuse me, Master Bruce, but uh, another guest has arrived. I'm sure they'll find the bar. You may want to Falcone. keep this personally, sir. Say, si. Carmine, Carmine Falcone. Falcone? Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Falcone's never been convicted of anything, except being a businessman who loves this city. Jay. Excuse us, Miss Vale. <laughs> and what kind of business do you think he's in? The one that controls enough votes to get me into City Hall. This is the necessary evil of politics, Bruce. It's in the service of a better Gotham, for all of us. Look, at least hear him out before you kick him out. Falcone requested to speak with you directly. Well, I, know. I don't like this, Harv, but I'm trusting you. Thank you, Bruce. Seriously. You know I have to pull every string I can to get elected. Yeah, well, just make sure this one doesn't hang you. A word of warning, Bruce? Play nice. It's easy. You know, I've been in the market for a new house. Decent walk-up, sky-high ceilings, plenty of room for my cars. <laughs> I think I'll take it. Será cabrón. Estará de broma, ¿no? Though the decor offends my eyes. Anda, anda. <laughs> Man, all flash, no class. Let's talk privately, shall we? <laughs> I like this guy. Ready to do business before we even introduce ourselves. But we'll get to that. Carmine Falcone, thank you for welcoming me into your home. Uh, oh, están todos mirando. Hostias. You're a respectable man, I hear. <sighs> Por educación, Bruce pero... Wayne, I know who you are. The guy is going to sell me his house. Gentlemen, perhaps we'll all be more comfortable in the parlor. Pero por educación, macho, ¿qué vas a hacerlo? ¿Vas a dejar ahí? Yo qué sé. Hay que ser amable, hay que mantener el postureo un poco. ¿Qué cojones? Harvey viene conmigo. A man's home is his castle. I respect that. Seen and not heard. Whatever ah, you... Ah, what did I say? Que entre. Coño, es el candidato y no yo, joder. Que fijación tienen todos conmigo. Bueno, con Bruce. Mr. District Attorney here wants to make sure the rules are followed. But in my experience, there's the law... And there's doing what's right. You understand? And I'd rather see Harvey actually help this city instead of just saying he will. The man talks too much. Chaps my face with words. Unlike most people I've met, Harvey 
actually has integrity. Toma. He's trying to make Gotham a better place. So am I. So are you. Hey, sí. we all carry this city on our broken backs. Might lighten the load if we do so together. I ain't here to chinwag about politics, Mr. Wayne. Gives me indigestion. I got enough of that as is. So, let's talk relationship. Chalk this for me. Be a pal. I can get Harvey the mayor's seat. Or I can pull it out. No soy tu puñetero criado, macho. Whatever happened to being a gracious host? Okay, imagine. This is me. And these are all my friends in Gotham. The businesses, restaurants, clubs, docks, unions, politicians. I make them all move. And I want to keep everything moving if Harvey gets elected. That's why I came here tonight to your lovely home. Hoping sí, to make a new friend. Eh, cabrón. Lo que quiere es chantajeo. Between your businesses and mine, I bet we employ half the city. Now we no, got a good thing going, so I don't see why we shouldn't team up. Yeah, that's not happening. Hey, this isn't a deal with the devil. Bueno. You listen to me, kid. I know somewhere inside that tuxedo you understand this situation. Money gets money. The risks, the alliances, the hidden costs. Your father knew which hands to shake. Se está pasando este tío, eh? And which to break. Don't you dare talk about my father. You're getting worked up over nothing. <laughs> Hell, I knew him longer than you did. People don't say no to me. Pues yo sí. Not for long. Master Bruce, your guests are leaving. I recommend seeing them out. You wouldn't want to be rude. Se acabó la reunión, Falcone. Tomar por culo de aquí. Oh, and I'm no longer interested in buying the house. Igualmente no la ibas a comprar. Es un normal. He's gonna get what's coming to him. Sí. Por supuesto. Bueno, pues no está mal, como introducción no está mal, es pues la típica historia que suele tener Batman de conflictos políticos con con lo, el, el puñetero Falcón, las mafias, etcétera. Parece que es como que está, bueno, de momento de momento vamos a dejarlo por aquí, que esto como introducción ha estado bien. Bueno, pues ya habéis visto como más o menos en la historia y lo dicho, a mí Batman es mi superhéroe favorito porque las historias, sobre todo las últimas, las de las películas de Nolan, las de los últimos videojuegos, las de la serie de Gotham que hubo, de, de no sé si era de Netflix, del canal Netflix puede ser, la serie de Gotham, son historias muy realistas en un superhéroe que está basado en, 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 en algo muy realista, ¿no? Es, es mi superhéroe favorito precisamente porque no, no tiene superpoderes ni nada, el tío con dos cojones... Se lo ocurra y gracias a su inteligencia, a su integridad y a su personalidad, y sobre todo porque está forrado, que eso también mola, pues consigue, consigue hacer lo que hace. Y es digno de admiración porque sin tener ningún superpoder, pues pues eso pues es un superhéroe. Es, es, es el único o de los pocos superhéroes junto, por ejemplo, a Iron Man que no tiene poderes. Y por eso es de mis favoritos. Normalmente, además, como ya digo, sus historias no suelen ser el típico malo que quiere dominar el mundo tal. No, son historias más realistas, son historias de mafias o, o de locos o, o crimen organizado. Y eso le da un atractivo, bajo mi punto de vista, pues cojonudo. Y bueno, espero que os haya gustado. Darle un like si os ha gustado. Suscribíos si queréis continuar viendo la serie. Si veo que tiene buena aceptación, la seguiré subiendo. Porque como ya digo, a mí me gusta bastante y me gustaría ver de qué va la trama. Lo dicho, un saludo para todos y nos vemos próximamente.